Getting a bike fit is really important for optimising and maximising your comfort and performance on a road bike. To talk to me about the importance of bike fit and to put me through a bike fit, I'm joined by Jake from Precise Performance. Thanks for joining us today, Jake. Now let's start off with how important is a bike fit? It's probably one of the most important things about when you own a bike. Okay. Um, you avoid injury and also the enhancement of comfort and efficiency is, is huge. Okay. Is it something that only racing cyclists uh, should look into or is it for like, amateur non-racing cyclists it's as for well? for everyone, amateur to, to racing cyclists. Everyone will feel those benefits. Okay. And how often should you get a bike fit? Is it you do it once and that's set for life or? No, I mean, every year should be, should be a good aim. Okay, every um, year. Obviously that isn't always realistic for some people. See, you, your fitness levels may improve um, or decrease in some occasions. Also, you may have just suffered an injury or, you know, just generally your targets change as well. So you need to reassess what that position looks like. Okay. And what are key things you're looking for when you're doing a bike fit with somebody? Just making sure that the body is uh, balanced properly with um, the correct support, maybe for like fit, uh, sit bones and feet, um, whilst also making sure sort of basics, saddle height, saddle setback, and sort of the reach and drop are okay as well. Okay, aerodynamics is a big topic these days. Is that something you have to take into consideration? Because kind of that balance between getting as aero as possible but maintaining a comfortable position must be a tricky one? Yeah, definitely is tricky. It's case by case in a lot of cases. Okay. So um, if you're doing a 10 mile TT, you can generally sit a lot lower than you can do if you're going to do okay. a 112 mile Ironman middle leg distance, you know? So. Yeah. What are the uh, kind of common mistakes you see when you're doing bike fits? Is there anything that stands out? Uh, saddle's too low. Okay. Uh, cleat positions are normally always, always wrong as well. Um, and see a lot is uh, the front end of the bike is quite high, okay. causing a lot of extra pressure on the back and shoulders. It's um, the bike design and bike size that come into it when you're doing yeah. a bike fit? Uh, unfortunately, I do have to tell a few people that they've, uh, they've gone out and bought the wrong, wrong size bike, which is never a, never a fun conversation. Um, we try our best to make it work, but I always advise someone if it is the wrong size bike. Yeah, I can't imagine it go down very well. And no, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's a bit of a kick to the side, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, what are the um, like kind of, if anyone watching this who might want to know what they can do to a bike fit without doing a bike fit, what are the kind of key lessons you give somebody, a viewer watching this now, in terms of optimising their fit? It's just about making sure that your, your saddle height isn't too low. You can do basic tests, such as like a heel back test which is very basic, but it gives you the right sort of guideline. We have to take into account, obviously, cleat stack on that, uh, if you are clipping in. Um, and just making sure that you're not overly reached. Make sure your contact points are, are reachable and um, not putting anything on the strain. Okay, so it sounds like a bike fit is pretty important, so um, should we do a bike fit on me and see how I stack up? It. Okay, cool. Sure Okay, so uh, the main important part of a bike fit is working out the, uh, the body's flexibilities and naturally its limitations. Without that information, uh, we may put the body at risk of, uh, of injury and obviously that will keep us off the bike so we don't want to be, don't want to be doing that. yourself from that position. Your right tibia ever so slightly longer than your left. Okay, uh, it stayed really similar when you sat up as well. So it shows there's not much pelvic rotation. Okay. Pretty much nine out of ten people have a leg left discrepancy. Yeah. Yeah. I see it all the time. So what this is going to do is it's going to place the uh, pedal axle, which is be like the centre of the pedal, yeah. in between your first and your fifth metatarsal. Okay. Also that's going to help with ankle mobility as well, okay. so you have more room on your ankle. And what are you looking for here? Okay, so I'm looking to see the angle, whether it's heel in, heel out. Oh, I see. Okay. So by letting it fall naturally? Yeah. Um, so if you set the weight over it, that's it. Okay. You can see how that's changed, just from... just almost like the pointy of the toes as you let your weight go over that as well. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you've got a small rotation in your foot there, which um, 
probably going to warrant a wedge underneath there. So what it's going to do is make you feel like you're making contact to the whole of the sole of the foot to the actual sole of the shoe. Okay, so this is a harness that we put onto the side of the body. Uh, as you can see here on Dave, I've added some, some Velcro dots, which are a street, I so, well, strategically placed <laughs> uh, on the body uh, to pick up all the movement when I link it to this camera. This is quite a crucial part um, because it basically it is the, the time and factor of the numbers on the screen. So before we actually take any sort of data capture footage, I'm going to be trying to find or locate a certain places on the bike. This is uh, the crank block, the tool that we tool designed. This is going to help us locate exactly where the pedal spindle is, so we can get your perfect saddle setback. Okay, so when it, when it comes to bike fit, we always look at the back end of the bike first. So effectively, like I say, saddle sat back, saddle high, clean position. What that is, that's controlling the engine. That is what is going to turn the pedals. Yeah. Commonly, people get on the bike and go, oh, it's too long. So they'll reduce the step. But actually, what it is, is the saddle sat back that's incorrect, or the saddle height is incorrect. Yeah. It takes such a big difference. And talk about stem length, like, it's a, uh, a common approach to slam it, go for as long as possible, which is all about emulating the pros. Yeah. Do you think that's where part of it comes from? People look at the stem and what the pros are doing rather than concentrate on the saddle set back. They should concentrate purely on what, what their body needs. Okay, yeah. So, because uh, everyone's torso is different, they have yeah. long arms and short yeah. legs. Um, you know, that is a very personal thing. Um, your back angle's good, matches what I've seen already. Yep. Shoulder blades aren't sticking out of your back. Okay. So, I'll be looking to see if sort of around here you have excessive like, sort of wing scapulars. Yep. Um, if there was a little bit, I'd be comfortable that that'd be. Quite natural for you, knowing that they're slightly winged, but okay. they're not excessive. Okay. Doesn't feel tight across the top of the neck, does it? No, no, it doesn't. No, no, no sorry. Cool, that's fine. And uh, the height, the height of the hand bars is good as well. You've got okay. this arm, sort of shoulder to elbow to okay, yeah. uh, wrist angle, so spot on. So now we've, uh, we've just measured the bike using this measuring tool uh, designed by Retool. It is called a, a Zin measuring tool. It measures different points in the bike, such as like the wheels, the handlebars, the saddle, the bottom bracket. What it can do is it will work out millimetre perfect measurements, different angles, different reach, different drop. Everything you need to set up the bike, from uh, whether it's brand new or whether you've just travelled with it and you've taken it out of a hard case, away you go. So I just had my bike fit done. Jake, what are the key uh, takeaway things for my bike fit? Cleat positioning was adjusted. That's yeah. going to improve um, some comfort and efficiency for you. We also looked at uh, and changed the saddle setback. Um, the saddle was too far back at the start. We just moved it forward just to, uh, to capture a better sort of knee over spindle, which effectively lines up with the, having the correct saddle height and cleat position. Yeah. Okay. Transfer of power is, is where it needs to be now. Okay, so no major changes, but small changes which help improve my performance and comfort on the bike? Indeed, definitely, yeah. So within, um, whilst changing the setback of the saddle, we actually reduced your reach ever so slightly, which gave you a better back angle and shoulder angle. Okay. So um, yeah, all good. Um, small changes, but big difference. That's what I like to hear, brilliant. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, taking me through bike fit today. Very fascinating. Um, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Um, if you've got any questions about bike fit, do put them in the comment section below and we'll put a link to uh, Jake's website in the description below so you can hit him up on uh, Instagram and Twitter and, and the internet as well. So um, thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already as well and we'll see you again next time.